for joining us on the Trend Talk. Today we welcome you from the third annual Latina Fest. We're in the heart of Los Angeles at the beautiful Plaza de Cultura y Artes for this amazing gathering of Latina entrepreneurs. Everything from beauty to food trucks. That's right. And to quote Silvana Montenegro, head of Hispanic Latino Initiatives at J.P. Morgan Chase, Latina small business owners are a major driving force in our economy and our communities, outpacing any other ethnic group. By 2023, Latino buying power could reach $1.9 trillion, and that is trillion with a T. <laughs> Well, from side hustles to startups to full-fledged businesses, Latina Fest is highlighting some incredible Latina entrepreneurs, and we'll get the insight on how they're making these dreams a reality. So are you ready to Latina Fest? Let's go! Systemic barriers have created profound inequalities for Black and Hispanic communities, and the disproportionate effect of the pandemic made them worse. To lift our communities, we're helping drive economic inclusion and increase home ownership, access to affordable housing, entrepreneurship, and bolster financial health. Our firm's $30 billion racial equity commitment includes helping 40,000 people become homeowners by the year 2026. We are also preserving affordable housing for renters and helping people refinance loans. We're providing an additional 15,000 loans to small businesses in majority Black and Latino communities and mentoring and supporting entrepreneurs. And we're increasing our spending with diverse suppliers and helping more companies get information on how to get certified. We're helping make banking more affordable and accessible for people through low-cost accounts, opening community center branches in neighborhoods that need it the most, and investing in minority-owned financial institutions. We've also committed to a more equitable and representative workforce by developing a diverse talent pipeline for people at all career levels. This is just the beginning. We are on the path to help drive inclusive growth in communities for a stronger, equitable, and sustainable economy for all. At J.P. Morgan Chase, we're committed to helping close the racial wealth gap. Latina Fest, and remember, the, the future, future is Latina! My name is Erika de la Cruz, Pasando, the CEO of the LA Girl. What a beautiful day in Los Angeles! I gotta give it up to you and Belle. Latina Fest is freaking amazing. How do you feel on your third anniversary of Latina Fest? You know, every year we want to make it bigger and better, and, and we work so hard for so many weeks to make this happen, and we really just want to make everyone that's attending happy. How do you feel your third anniversary of Latina Fest? Great. I think that everyone is enjoying themselves, and that's the goal. Everybody's connecting, everybody's networking, everyone is lifting each other up, and that's what it, Latina Fest is all about. You know, it's about Latinas coming together and supporting each other. Wow. We are having so much fun, and I hate to say it, I've spent a little more than I thought, but it's totally worth it. I have a surprise for you. This soap is called the Love Spell Soap. And this I want to give to you because it's going to bring you good luck for all, anything that has to do with love. Okay, I'm ready, Beth. Buenos dias, Los Angeles. Please join me in congratulating and giving a warm welcome to the stage this year's Heart Hero Woman Racing Power Grant Award nominee and winner Deanna Duck Duke Talk. So, so much. Thank you, everybody. 
that's here. I want to give a shout out to Latina Fest here. This is such an incredible space for Latinas to feel poderosas, to feel empowered, to start their own businesses, to know they can make it, to be together and celebrate our culture and our poder. Oh, I love the entrepreneurship and the innovative spirit of the Latina who has come here and made her own things and designed her own things and is selling her own things and the future is Latina. So I love Latina Fest and all the women who have pulled this together year after year. Happy Sunday, the future is Latina. I love coming to these Latina Fest, so many Latinas, you know? They go, what, why do you go Latina Fest? I say, because of my Latinas, and I love my Latinas. You know, and they're the biggest growing segment of small business owners, not just in California, but nationally. Tell us, Cecilia, how did you come up with these beautiful bags? Well, all of our products are inspired in our Mexican culture. Since we start making them, we're focusing on things that remind us of our beautiful culture. A lot of it is Dia de Muertos, Piri de Calo. Here we are at Latina Fest and we are in the Chase Pavilion. Now this is where all these amazing entrepreneurs are showing off what's happened after they have worked with Chase's financial experts. Come along. <laughs> What gem do I need to do well in a uh, business? <laughs> uh -oh. Let me see this. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, uh, where can we find you so we can buy your beautiful, um, your your beautiful gems? Uh, so right now we're on Instagram, City of Crystals with a Z. about some of these entrepreneurs. Sure, so I have a wonderful um, senior, two senior consultants here in, in Los Angeles, Vanessa Torres and Lisa Stevens, and they've done a great job in really being able to identify small businesses that are both in the Latino and black community. We have some that are Latina, Afro-Latina, and so what we're trying to really do is create a, uh, a pathway for them, meeting them where they're at. If they're a startup, if they've been in, in business for two years or more, five years or more, but really trying to evaluate where they're at by providing them different tools to be able to advance, not just to survive the pandemic, but to thrive during the pandemic. So truly it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, customizing it, and so truly just being able to be a trusted advisor for these small mentor, small businesses that we're mentoring. That's really the work that we are proud to be doing as a financial institution and investing in organizations like Latina Fest and being here today makes us proud to really show up to do the work that we say we do every day. We're leaving the Chase Pavilion and going back to the main stage at Latina Fest. The future is Latina! This holiday season, visit our online retail store, LimonadaLA.com, to get unique gifts from shirts, jewelry, tote bags, wall art, mask and more. We have something for everyone. And now until the end of the year, everything is 10% off. Just use code YEAREND2020. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Limonada LA to get updates on our products. Happy holidays, everyone. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid, but there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. Learn more at wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. Today's show is all about celebrating everything Latina, and we're celebrating that we have guest host 
co-founder of Latina Fest, and Naiva Reynoso with us today. Welcome back to the Trend Talk. It is so nice to be back. Muchas gracias, Belle, for inviting me to be your guest co-host for today. Yes, and uh, we want to introduce Jacqueline Enriquez. She's the owner of Indeed Construction and Cleanup, and Vanessa Torres, the senior Chase business consultant who mentored Jackie. And we'll tell you all about how she took Jackie from being a business of $100 to being a business of $1.3 million. An amazing story, an That's amazing story. Right, and just how you made that happen you guys can also make that happen. And that's why you're here today, so you can walk us through your personal journey because you can empower the rest of us to reach for $100 million a year, baby, right? <laughs> so when Jacqueline comes back uh, next year, we're gonna say she's scaled to $100 million. So we're putting it out there, everybody. Put that good energy out there. Okay, so uh, let's welcome Jackie first, and let's ask you, tell us, why did you start your business? And how did you go about getting into a business? Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, Indie Construction Cleanup started uh, four years ago. Um, four years ago, I started Indie Construction Cleanup because I had actually lost everything. Um, I went through a lot of challenges in my life, which I had a cycling studio. I lost my cycling studio. I uh, lost my mother to cancer and I almost lost my son to drugs. I was gonna start just a regular cleaning company and a friend of mine who's a contractor told me to get into the construction business. And I started looking into it. I started with $100 uh, cleaning offices and then um, we just hit, uh, we just finished a job for a million dollar, which it was my biggest contract ever. Um, I am a contractor. The first time I didn't pass my test and then I wouldn't give up. I, I kept on studying until I passed my test and I became a contractor. Can I ask you a question? When you say you're a contractor, tell us exactly what you do. Okay, so I'm a contractor for construction cleanup. So we do high-rise uh, buildings. We do um, high-rise windows. We do power wash. We do striping. We do rough cleaning, final cleaning, spit cleaning, uh, concrete polish. We do all kind of stuff. I'm in a man's world, uh, which is dominated by uh, man, uh, male, but we're here to stay and we're growing. That's right, and also the banking business is full of powerful women and Latinas like Vanessa Torres from Chase. Uh, Vanessa, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us what you do for the company. Thank you so much for having me today. So yes, I am a senior business consultant and vice president for JP Morgan Chase. I am so thrilled to be here today with Jackie and just to share a little bit more about what we're doing. We have a $30 billion commitment to advance racial equity, specifically in our black and Latinx communities. So my team and I mentor women, minority, and veteran-owned businesses through the challenges that both small businesses face. A lot of them do the best that they can with what they know, and just a little bit of help and providing access to resources, tools, and preparing them for access to capital makes such a big difference. Right. So how does that mentoring work? Can I just, as a businesswoman, walk into Chase and say, I need a mentor? So how do you explain how that works? Yes, so you can do just that, or you can also visit our landing page, so chase.com forward slash business consultant, and then you'll be a, um, directed to our landing page where you can see actually Jackie's success story on there, as well as a few other businesses. Um, and what we do, we align you and pair you based off of where you're at geographically to a senior business consultant on my team. Walk us through quickly and in ways that other people can relate Maybe they don't have a, a construction cleaning business, but they have, you know, they sell dresses or they sell soaps. In what ways can Chase help small businesses to, to streamline and to be able to scale? Um, and I don't do, know if you, do you can want, kind of explain. Do you want to share a little how, bit of your experience? Yeah, how, how they helped you. Porque lo, nosotros las latinas a veces we do everything in a notebook. We guardamos el dinero under el colchón, etc., etc. <laughs> well, so, I was one of them. Platícanos your, your experience of how you made the jump from 100 to 100 million thanks to the in, guidance. In less than two years, we hit 1.3 million. Uh, my bookkeeping was actually books 
till I met Vanessa. So now where um, Chase has helped me a lot where not only through marketing, but I'm also getting certified as a woman business owner, minority business owner. And also um, we're just doing different things where they're, um, they're helping us, they're guiding us. And if you would have told me this years ago, I would have said, no, I mean, a business consultant, how much can that cost? So there's a lot of Latinas people out there and a lot of people that they might think, you know, this is going to cost us a lot of money. And Chase is actually doing that for a lot of people for free. And they're doing it for me. So this is a real story. So business women out there, remember, this is help that you can get for no cost or little cost. Where can you get that from a bank? They'll tell you how to scale your business. They'll help you. So this is amazing. Congratulations, Vanessa and Chase, for doing something like this. It's great. And I want to ask, Vanessa, why is it so important for Chase to tap into uh, black and Latinx uh, entrepreneurs? T tell us why that effort is so important. Well, I'll just first stop, start by saying I'm proud to do this work. I personally am the product of multi-generational entrepreneurs. My grandparents and parents were immigrants to this country. So I know firsthand the importance of providing this information and accessible to their fingertips. It's just, they do the best that they can do with what they know. And the reason why this is important is because, as we all know, and Dr. Betty shared earlier, the Latino community and our underserved communities are growing at an astronomical pace. So the most important thing that we can do is to make sure that we incorporate opportunities for these um, communities to participate in the financial markets and then also just to, it's, it's good business at the end. But we're, we're really here to make change. And what I love about it is that everyone that's hired for these roles through the Path Forward commitment comes from the community and has just as much passion as I do to really move the needle for all of the business owners in our communities. And I have a question for you, Jackie. Yes, that's a big one. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I have a question for you, Jackie. What is the one lesson that you've learned that has really, really helped you with the, through the mentoring program? That you have to take time for yourself. That um, if you don't take time for yourself at least an hour a day and you know either relax, go hiking, go jogging or anything, it's really hard to run a business and because first you got to think about your mental health first you got to think about your health so that's one of the things that I've learned um, I'm learning a lot of things with Vanessa not only is she my business consultant but she's also become a very dear friend of mine so I'm, I'm very thankful and I want to piggyback on what you just said because something that's so important is to ask for help yes. ask for help and financial institutions such as Chase have programs where us, as Latinas, we want to do it all. We, we don't want to bother people. We don't want to ask for help. Sometimes we're intimidated. Sometimes we want to bother people. Sometimes, you know, it's just, we, we can do it on our own. We need to ask for help. And that's exactly what you did. And that's what helped you scale your business, right? There's people that, um, that's what they do for a living. They help other people. So, mujeres, let's ask for help, whether it's financial help, mental health, any type of help. That is so important too. And you said something really important, uh, Jackie, that you said that you gotta take time for yourself. You gotta learn how to relax because you can work your fingers to the bone, but if you get ill, then nobody, who's taking care of your business? So that's one of the things that we, as Latinas, I know I have to learn. It's like go to sleep early, make sure you eat well, don't get so stressed out that you, you know, fall apart. So yeah. very important. Yeah. And of very course, important. Latina Fest is all about mind, body, and soul. So yes, definitely good message. Thank you. And Jackie, I know that your passion is your business, but you also have other passions that fuel your life and your business, because it is important to have a passion, right? We're humans. We have souls. We need, th that soul needs to be fed. So talk to us about the passion 
uh, aside from your business that you're also moving forward? Yes, my passion is uh, I have a movement for mental health. Um, just one mother. I'm sure there's a lot of mothers out there who are trying to make a difference. Uh, this actually hit home, so it's very important to me to talk about uh, mental health. It's very important to me to try to make a difference. Uh, we are actually over there by uh, under the Chase uh, tent if anybody wants to come and see us. Uh, I, I want to make a difference. I, wanna, I want people to know that there's a lot of people out there dealing with depression, anxiety. So many of our kids committing suicide. Um, so many of our kids getting involved in drugs, which it, um, it gets to the point where they start having mental problems. So my passion is um, to try to help and give a voice out there when it comes to mental health. And I don't know if you want to say why this is your passion, because I know it's very, very personal. But I think that for uh, persons out there to know your personal experience and why you're so passionate about mental health. Do you want me to cry? No. <laughs> we don't want to make you cry, but uh, it was a very compelling story, and I understand where that passion comes from. Well, it started because of my son. Uh, my son got into drugs, and he went into a uh, in, uh, drug-induced psychosis. After that, we were in and out of different hospitals. He was diagnosed with different things, um, from underlying schizophrenia to bipolar disorder. So uh, just the system and not knowing what to expect and also um, I just didn't want to give up on him. I read a lot about different type of issues that it has to do with mental health and I think by me uh, trying to get awareness for mental health maybe I can give back some and try to help other people as well. And you mentioned that you have a booth in the Chase Pavilion so if people want to go and, and reach out to you because I'm sure there's a lot of women here that are dealing with these types of issues or have dealt with these types of issues and you can be a mentor or, or give them some advice. Talk to us about what the name of your booth is so after our interview they can come uh, visit you. The name is We Are Clutter Minds, which uh, to me it means uh, when someone is going through uh, some type of mental issues, their mind is clutter and that's why I named it uh, Clutter Minds. So everyone, if you know someone who's dealing with depression, if you uh, want to find more information, Clutter Minds under the Chase Pavilion, please go and check it out and speak with uh, Jacqueline about that. So uh, thank you so much. Thank Is there you anything so else much. you would like to say to us before we say goodbye here on the Trend Talk? Thank you so much for inviting me. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you. This is amazing, amazing uh, work that is being done uh, by Chase and also by um, Jackie with her uh, Clutter Minds organization. Thank you for being here. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you for Thank having us. Muchas gracias. Keep enjoying the shopping. Systemic barriers have created profound inequalities for Black and Hispanic communities, and the disproportionate effect of the pandemic made them worse. To lift our communities, we're helping drive economic inclusion and increase home ownership, access to affordable housing, entrepreneurship, and bolster financial health. Our firm's $30 billion racial equity commitment includes helping 40,000 people become homeowners by the year 2026. We are also preserving affordable housing for renters and helping people refinance loans. We're providing an additional 15,000 loans to small businesses in majority Black and Latino communities and mentoring and supporting entrepreneurs. And we're increasing our spending with diverse suppliers and helping more companies get information on how to get certified. We're helping make banking more affordable and accessible for people through low-cost accounts, opening community center branches in neighborhoods that need it the most, and investing in minority-owned financial institutions. We've also committed to a more equitable and representative workforce by developing a diverse talent pipeline for people at all career levels. This is just the beginning. We are on the path to help drive inclusive growth in communities for a stronger, equitable, and sustainable economy for all. At J.P. Morgan Chase, we're committed to helping close the racial wealth gap.
trendsetter shout out goes to Clutter Minds. Clutter Minds is a movement of social impact. Their goal is to end the stigma of mental health disorders of those provoked through consumption of substance abuse or even the ones genetically prone to symptoms. Clutter Minds mean? Clutter Minds, what we're doing is we're spreading awareness about the importance of mental health and getting the help when needed. You're never alone, you've never been alone, you always have the help and the support. We're right now we're with mommy, as you can see. So what we do is anytime you have any, a loved one, a family member, anyone that's going through any type of hardship or pain or hurt, you call this number and you get all the mental help and have someone there to talk to you and support you. How did Chase help you with Clutter Minds? Well, Chase has been amazing. I mean, just with the great support and just with being here and letting us put the word out there is what Chase is doing. And we are greatly appreciated. We love Chase. I was going over to the Vegetize Me. Oh. Okay. Veget Let's, we're going to have a sample, OK, Jason? Sure, sure. Hi there. Good, good. Welcome to Vegetize Me. Look, we got burgers. We got hot dogs. We got all types of stuff. That are, you know what I'm saying? We got that good, good. <laughs> 100% plant-based, it's good for you, not only good for the body, it's good for the soul, you feel me? Well, thank you for joining us on the Trend Talk Show, and we hope you've enjoyed this year's Latina Fest experience. Remember, if it's trending, we're talking. Llenos de algarabía Ya llegó